Um, bunch of premium skill change tickets to use today. Um, and actually a decent announcement to be make. This will be my last video opening packs bi-weekly. I'm going to change now to weekly, seen as my second semester is starting up, and that is going to be um, when I have baseball starting. So I just said, you know, it'd be easier if I just open up packs weekly so I don't have to worry about getting a video out, an extra video out. So I will have um, weekly packs I'll record on Sunday, post on Monday at 12, and um, that's pretty much going to be the plan. So, uh, yeah, as you guys saw, we also have two sick packs today, so that'll be uh, interesting to see how... Um, how those come out if I actually can pull a met or if I'll just continue to not pull a met so let's see what we can get from these silvers I have a bunch of silvers and premium packs this week as you guys can see and a decent amount of ultimates because I was actually able to um use a lot of free agent tickets I think I used like 300 this week um and I pulled like six different free agents so that was fun uh, to be able to do that, but other than that, so I have a lot of packs to open up. Um, of course, we're going to be doing combos uh, to just get rid of the cards. We've got no one to special train, and um, that's pretty much the story. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of baseball news. I think there was uh, Brantley retired. Yes, he did. Thanks actually for showing up, Brantley. Uh, Michael Brantley retired. I did hear about that. Um, like a lot of players, like avoiding arbitration and stuff. I know the Mets avoided arbitration with uh, Alonso. Yankees did with Soto. Some notable names there. Uh, actually, something I thought that was interesting was that the White Sox avoided arbitration with Dylan Cease for $8 million. But supposedly their asking price was too high for teams like the Yankees or the Orioles, who whoever is interested in him. Um, so they most likely will not be trading him, which I think is interesting because if you're asking price for a guy who you guys are paying, okay, three silver, gold shuffle, whatever, because if your asking price is too high for a guy who you are going to be um, trying to trade away and you're asking price and he's, you've paid him $8 million, then what in the world are you asking um, teams to give you? That's just my question. Um, because I think that you should... Wow, interesting. Uh, actually, it's a decent Abad guy. 67 base relief, or I pulled Jason Shreve, but... It's interesting. Um, that's just something I think that is interesting. Like if you guys realize that you're paying somebody eight million, and your asking price is eight million, or your asking price is too much to other teams, then either you guys have a problem, and you guys are just being stupid in what you're asking for, or you're just not paying them enough, and people are realizing that they're like, why are we giving up so much for just eight million dollars? Or teams could be like, you know, or the White Sox could be like, hey, like, we're only paying $8 million for him. Like, that's a really good deal. You guys should get him. I don't know. Whatever. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. I can't really think about it. Wow, no primes or vintages through 100, which is unfortunate. Pretty much, in theory, you have a 50-50 chance. Because you have a 0.5% of pulling a prime and a 0.45% of pulling a vintage. So you open up two. If you open up 100, you theoretically should get one of the two. But if you open up 200, you're guaranteed to get one of each. If that makes sense. That's how math works. With statistics and all that stuff. I hope. Um, but... I hear there's a big uh, hunt for... Hector Neris, a lot of teams are looking for his uh, services. I think the Yankees and the Rangers are leading the uh, case there. I'm not 100% sure. 
but <sighs> the Mets supposedly have ten million dollars to spend remaining in their free agency, so Mets are a joke. That's all I gotta say. It'll be another bad season for Mets fans, cause um, I don't think they're gonna be doing a whole lot, cause I mean, they made a bunch of small signings for the starting rotation. Now their starting rotation is pretty much just, um, you got Quintana. Like, Quintana leading is like, he could very easily just get figured out and get shelled a year. Or he could just be like, how is he still pitching well? He's still pitching well. And then, of course, you also have, oh man, actually, why can't I think of his name? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. How I can't think of his name. Actually, I actually have to check this. I cannot believe I cannot think of his name. Kodai Sanga. I knew it started with an S. I just couldn't think of what his name was. Kodai Sanga. Yeah, no, I know. That's embarrassing, guys. Yep. Oh, wait. I have an extra pack to get. Supposedly, you just have to. Yep, I'll just take that. I'm not close to. I'm almost getting a um, premium skill change ticket, but I'll probably get it sometime today. All oh, right, yeah, let me collect my club rewards. Whatever, you know. All oh, right, I can also do that too. I always forget this. Club reward box. What's the best thing? A premium green and then a premium vintage. All right, well, I'm going to go 14. So that's my lucky number. And I get five skill change tickets. Okay, so I get a premium skill change ticket in the long run. Whatever. All right. So let's go back to combining. All right, yeah, I have so many Cal Quantrals because he was the free... I signed him three times. Literally 10% of all Cal Quantrall signings in the free agency um, earlier this week was me. So that's interesting. Um, I guess some combos, you know, it would be cool if I could get a prime. At least see a prime, you know. That'd be pretty cool. I'd take that any day. Oh, my sister's up. Let me remind myself to put on Do Not Disturb. So, oh, there we go. There's a diamond from a combo. Again, nice. So we got almost 200 uh, premium player packs. Not bad. That's from two weeks. I'm hoping for three diamonds. Ideally, four would be good, but I'll just play it safe with three. There's already one off the bat. Nice. Oh, that's Alonzo 22. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, right. Yeah, there's the new... Um, you guys can pick a, um, a prime player. That thing is back. Um, now you can actually get that prime and diamond, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'll probably be getting, uh, Pete Alonso, so, I'll get, cause that's the, like, most prime that I can, like, benefit from, so unless they add in players and stuff like that, so, um, it's this one, uh, this month I haven't even gone after anything yet, I've just been getting this stuff, so, um, this one will probably get some, like, gold vintage player or something. I don't know. Probably, like, Tug McGraw, so that if I ever pulled his sig, um, I just have upgrade material to use. I don't know. Because, like, there's a bot again. Because, like, I could... No, there's a half in our prime. That's cool. I think I already have him, though, but it's still be cool to get him. The not even stay, so I'm not even mad. Um, well, I haven't pulled it like a silver prime from combining all the silvers. So. 
something interesting. Dice. Um, you have a prime, you have a prime. I said all the two guys they have primes. Um, yeah, so I don't even know if getting the um, Alonzo Prime would even be worth it, like putting resources into it. Ugh, Aaron Hicks. Yeah, that's a bad shadow. Or, uh, that's not a good looking photo. I'll say that. Um, because of the whole crisis mentor thingy, a lot of guys just have um, a. Uh, a lot of guys just have. Well, there goes Alonzo. Oh, well. A lot of guys have. Um, Uh, different players with a whole bunch of different positions on their bench. So, like, I wouldn't even be able to put Alonzo on my bench. But, like, it'd be something I just think I would just do as, like, oh, this is a cool, like, best lineup I can have, like, highest overall and something like that. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping I'd get Jose Siri. I wonder if he has a SIG for this year. He was, like, good enough to have a Siggy. He had, like, 20-something home runs and played great defense in center. So. Another diamond. Nice. You for prime. Does Richard have a prime? I think he does. I don't really want to check that. I think it'd be with the Dodgers if he did. Oh, right, yeah, that's Rich Hill, so he has it with the Braves. No, it's just Alex Wood has two primes with two different teams. Holy smokes. Yeah, all right. Sorry, I thought that uh, Rich Hill had a prime. What? Anyways, we're back. Yeah. Perfect. Um. So yeah, like that'd be the only reason I'd get the Alonso is that if I was to like a best team that I can create, I would have like an Alonso Black Diamond Prime. I also have a bunch of Black Diamond pieces that I just don't use besides getting um the like bi-weekly blues and greens. Which, unless I land something here on um, Robles, I don't even use them. So. There's a third diamond, so there's already my three diamonds that I'd asked for. So. Let's judge. I think I just have this last one and then I have to go do combos. So let's see. I was right. I want to have to do this one more time. 77, but I only have 60. All right. Oh, they're all the same position? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't want to do a position combo, I'll tell you that much. I don't need a reliever. Like, card. Well, that was actually interesting how they're all, um... The, they were all the same uh, position, how they, lay, they were laid out like that. You for prime. Oh, Bronson Aurora is a prime. So there are two possible. There are two players who had prime chance there, that I did not get. Unfortunately, Sale is a prime. He's now all oh, right. Yes, Sale's a member of the Braves. Oh right, I was going to talk about the trades the Mariners made. So the Mariners traded for Mitch Haniger. And Anthony Descafani and traded away Robbie Ray. I did see that. Um, so they traded with the Giants. And then they also did another trade. 
this one I can't remember what they did. Um, but yeah, so the Mariners did some trades, which were like cool. Oh, they traded away Eugenio Suarez, but I think that was earlier. Whatever. Um, yeah, they trade him to the Diamondbacks. So, you know, the Mariners have been out there making moves. The clerk. So, Mariners out here making moves. I mean, they're moves, you know. They're going out and they're saying, hey, listen, we think that this is the best way for us to win the season is to make these moves. So, who am I to say, oh, no, these moves are bad. Unless they are bad. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what we got here. I don't think we're going to get a diamond here. Oh, well, I was wrong. All right. Who played me in ranked? Damn. I'll deal with that later. 77. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, weekly videos now of me opening packs. Not bi-weekly. So, I'll have less stuff, but these videos will be shorter. Um, today is actually the 14th. So, we had the two football games yesterday. The two football games today. And then the two football games tomorrow. Playoffs, of course. Uh, there's two tomorrow due to the fact of the weather in Buffalo being so bad that the Bills were like, listen, we're just going to wait till tomorrow to play. I was like, damn. I actually did not realize that the weather was that bad. Um, so, uh, let's see. Yesterday, Chiefs won and the Texans won. Joe Flacco it was just not great yesterday, and that was pretty much the reason why. Ooh, Alec Manoa. Yikes. That was pretty much the reason why the um, the Browns lost. Their defense also got cooked by the Texans. But, I mean, if you think about it, the Texans put up 45 points, right? The two pick sixes, that's 14. So that's then 31, which is still a decent amount for the Texans to put up against the Browns' defense. But they did. So... And then, of course, the Chiefs won. I mean, Tua just was not in his comfort zone, so he was uh, out of sorts. So, what are you going to do? Maybe you just adapt and deal with it for the betterness of the team, but when you play in 80-degree uh, weather home games, you get used to it. You, the Dolphins also blew it, so the Dolphins just deserve to lose. They had the... Uh, they were honestly fighting with the Ravens for the first uh, number one um, damn the number one uh, the standings right Oh, Ryan Howard moved. So, yeah, you know, if the Dolphins just had won one of the last four games, they would have been the number two seed. But they didn't. So, you know what that means? Their own fault. They had their destiny in their own hands. They would have had a home game. But no. So, what can you do? No, I actually pulled a diamond there, surprisingly. So many diamonds. Look at all those. I haven't even opened, like, my ultimate packs and my diamond packs, so. So, Dolphins' fault. Uh, today, you have um, the two games are the Cowboys and the uh, 17 silvers and the 17 packs. Okay. Cowboys and the Giants. Not the Giants, the Packers. And then your AFC matchup is, I think it's the, no, Bills and Steelers are tomorrow. There is no AFC matchup, it's an NFC matchup. Oh, it's the Lions and the Rams, yes. Matt Stafford returns home. Yes. I remember now. So. 
Just doing the Giants, because, you know, they have cool legends, pretty much. And none would be a dupe. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that the Cowboys win today. My dad's second favorite team is the Cowboys, so... You know. I'm hoping the Cowboys win. Um, also, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb carried me to a fantasy W this season, so I don't want them to just like fall fall, fall apart now that my fantasy season's over, so whatever. Well, I don't know why this is an icon here. I didn't get anybody, right? No. I didn't even pull a vintage. I, mean, like, I still have yet to pull a vintage, which is absurd. That's just bad luck. That is just bad luck is all that is from the Ola uh, from the old packs. I genuinely think I just need to get rid of all these cards to make sure that I have enough space for opening up the packs that I have remaining. There's Tim Wakefield again. Take another sip of water and get back into it. You've a prime, you've a prime, you've a prime, you've a prime. Four guys here who have primes, and you know, I just can't see them in the combos. It's unfortunate. Yuva Prime. That's it. Only got Yuva Prime. And I pulled the guy who has a Prime, but they didn't want to give me his Prime. Of course, of course. Yuva Prime. No. Yuva Prime. Yuva Prime. What actually is two primes since is what we've seen. Oh, position combo, really? No, I don't want to do a position combo. So Alrighty, so let's open up all these packs, except of course the um, wish player packs. And, um, right now we've gotten, okay, four diamonds to 30. Better odds, but not great. So the last couple, okay, we got another diamond here. So it's five diamonds to 35. Oh, I was about to say these are all 2023 20, guys, and then Mike Moustakas had to ruin it. Uh, two diamond packs, regular diamond packs. Let's see if we can pull anything special from here. Davies and Carpenter, and our six team select diamonds. We're just going to do Giants because if I pull a legend, that's cool. No, no legend. All right. Marlon Bird. And Wilma. And a prime player pack. Let's see. It would be a new guy. We dupe. It's a diamond. It's a diamond. I mean, if this is Pete Alonso, I would actually be like, damn. I really don't know what else to do. But let's see who this diamond prime is. It is... David Robertson. Okay. Met legend David Robertson. Um, I actually... I think I do actually have this prime. Hold up. And it doesn't matter because now that's two primes, two Yankee primes for... Uh, 
let's go by name. B, C, D, yeah, I do already have his card. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's a diamond prime, so I'll just lock him up and then wait for my third diamond prime I pull, whether it's from end of season or another prime pack like that, because my end of season rewards have been ass, I'll say that. And now we got two sig packs, uh, hoping for a Met, you know, like an actual, like, Met signature, not just, oh, a guy who's played for the Mets and blah, da, da. Um, they're both golds. Okay, um, I'll just open them both and just look at them. So uh, let's see who we got here. We have uh, Corbin and Otani. It's Corbin's. They're both actually the worst years on the teams that had the six for him. So, unfortunate, you know. Um, I'll actually do... Do, do, how many sigs do I have? Type. So. Diamond sig. Oh, right. Two way. That's true. So, like. I have the. Of course, you see here. Yotani hit batting, and then if I pull this pitching, I can use them both. Right. So one, two, so I have four. So I don't count the Chris Bryant. That's just me waiting to get a, um, me waiting to get some diamond six. So whenever it's double mileage, I think it's in two weeks. Yeah. It'll be the end of double mileage, and I will just do a sig combo. Unless I pull another sick packs from somewhere. I don't think I will. But anyways. Mm -hmm. There's another Corbin. Speaking of Petra Corbin. Let's see here. And Jack Peterson. Just, you know, just wrapping this up and just trying to get ready for the premiums that I got to do. You just go change tickets, of course. And then uh, that'll be it for this video. You know, we saw one prime, two primes from combos, didn't pull either, which is unfortunate, you know. Uh, Zach Wheeler, I already have this diamond prime. I'm going to go bottom middle, and if I pull it, I'll actually be like, that's absurd. Okay, he went to the other corner. I'm not mad. So I was thinking, do I go where he is or whatever? But if I pulled another um, Zach, I mean, I would have had a prime combo to do. So I wouldn't have been mad at that. All right, let's get uh, these uh, all these primes or all these diamonds comboed away. You have a prime. So, and DJ has a prime. So those are two guys who had primes. I pulled Kenny and Middleton. See who we got here. Ozuna's a prime. Kershaw's a prime. Two guys who have primes again. Eh, it's whatever, you know. Jim Verhagen. Let's see what we get here. I don't think anybody here is a prime, so. Let's see. Mizell. Ah, Yuva Prime, Yuva Prime. I might even know it's enough of that year. And Yuva Prime. Three guys who are primes. Come on. Pulled Kershaw. Oh, well, that's it. All right. Let's see. Free Agents. Wheeler. I did my free pack. I right, cool. So now I'm just going to use my 15 premium skill change tickets. It's going to be 16. We're going to throw them on uh, Hansel Robles and hope I can get a high level uh, legend set. That's good for a reliever. Looking for bullpen day would be great. And then control master is number two. Fireballer is number three. 
I'm just hoping I can get him out of the long relief role and put um, not high enough. And I can put, uh, what's his name? Now, Raleigh Fingers into the long relief role since he has pitcher's chemistry now. So everybody would get a plus one boost. I'm hoping that would be better. Because if it doesn't work and he ends up just being worse and I don't see a notable change in my pitching staff, I'll just put him back into um, long relief. But I don't think that should happen as long as I get a high level set on him. So, I mean, we did see the one uh, control master set, just one one three. Bottom level two is definitely not good enough. Fireballer three one one. Fireball level three started great, but the levels again. It's always it. That's what it's always going to be nowadays. The levels. How high can you get your levels? That was not high enough, which was unfortunate. Same with the control master set. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just that I'd use those to get rid of the just reset the luck, you know. Alrighty, six more. We've already seen two. So I doubt we pull anything from here with the remaining six, but that's okay. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below um, and subscribe, of course. And yeah, so sorry this video is half an hour long, guys. Um, I plan by next week this video, these videos will be much shorter in time. So if you'd stayed for this long, I do appreciate you a lot. And um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.